Oh, I should think that you would. Yeah. 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 Well, we got into Walnut Creek yesterday late. Well, not too late. Four? No. Yeah, four, three, thirty, mm -hmm. four. Three? No, I think it was closer to five. Well, well, we didn't have that traffic. We beat the traffic. Oh, you did? Around three, thirty, four. Uh-huh. I'm going to stick with that. Go for it. And so we, I don't know, we didn't see much of the heat of the day. We were inside it. Was Cassie's done her play? She hasn't said anything about it. I thought she yeah. was going to be in some musical review. Well, thing. she was earlier, wasn't she? About a month or two ago? She oh, she was in a play. Because Christine is going to take out She was in a yeah. different play. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, I remember she was trying she out for some musical play. She was the premise and the dialogue and the acting. It was on the air. It was okay. It was okay. Well, Kathy probably was okay with it. If she did well and the others didn't, it probably made her look a little better. Right. But even the second, did they play it all over again with all the new, new, with all no. the No. Christine thought after it all yeah. been redone, it yeah. was supposed to be better. They, re they had a month to redo it and it opened again for yeah. another three days. And Christine saw the second time through, oh, I see. which wasn't. But she was very good on that. Not that I saw. Did she have a horn and a costume? Oh, I don't know about that. I, I didn't see it. Oh, you should just tell me about it. Yeah. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Well, I haven't seen many of the plays here, but sometimes they're pretty good. There's usually one person who is always good. You know. They bring them up here. What? They bring the plays up. No, no. It, it would be the local local town here who would have different place. In fact, there was one, uh, it was mainly about two two women, and it was supposed to be very good. Right? Uh, at the museum, uh -huh, right? Yeah. And uh, I, I guess that was played about two weekends or something. I just heard what it was about. It was about the, the Depression and how one girl decided, oh, she was going to do something really sharp. And so she decided to to have a sale and things, and she ordered all of this stuff and sale, and that nobody, anyway, it just blew up completely, but it was supposed to be pretty good. Uh, I don't know if I told you this, speaking of that museum, we donated a piece of sheet music that... Nobody else, it just ruins it for you. Uh, yeah. And that was really very interesting, using snowshoes. Have you ever tried them? Snowshoes, no. Snowshoes. Well, the thing is, they're like a tennis racket. I mean, they have a slit in it. So that when you are walking, you can put your toe down. Right. You know, you so that you're just flat with it at all. But you, you're walking absolutely normally walking. Oh, yeah, I thought it was all flat footed. No, not at all. No, you just, just like walking along. And so then we came to this mountain. We could have gone around it. But they, this was a track where you're, they're teaching us how to do things. And so they said, no, you're going right straight up. It was all snow. So you start up, and the only way that you can do it is that you kick. You kick your foot so that you get a perch. And then you kick the other one, and you get a perch, and you kick it. Otherwise, you start sliding right back down. And then, and then if you have to, you go, go right sliding down, which many of us did. I slipped for quite a ways, just laughing hysterically. <laughs> and then you have to start in again. But it's funny that you are able to kick and get a perch every step that you take. But they said, well, usually you would not go straight up something. You would go around it. Mm -hmm. Very tiring, isn't it? Oh, not really. It's just like walking, really. Right. Uh-huh. 